then read the Quran. For maghfirah, which is another very important thing, every human being wants to be forgiven his sins. For the maghfirah and the consequent salvation, the Quran again makes the Prophet Muhammad as the medium. The, in the Holy Quran, God Almighty says, وَلَوْ أَنَّهُمْ إِذْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ جَاؤُكُ If those who commit sins come to thee, O Prophet alayka salatu wa salam, جَاؤُكَ فَاسْتَغْفَرُ اللَّهِ Then they seek forgiveness from God, وَاسْتَغْفَرَ لَهُمُ الرَّسُولِ and the Prophet Muhammad also seeks forgiveness of God for them. Then they will find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as the acceptor of repentance and as bestower of mercy. The verse is clear. The words are clear. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making it a condition for the acceptance of, forg of forgiveness for the uh, realization of this fact of forgiveness. Here he is making the Holy Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu as the wasila. Then read a hadith. Of course I generally don't talk about the hadith because about the hadith People can say, you see, it is not as important as the Qur'an or not as authentic as the Qur'an, but I have spoken from the Qur'an. Read a hadith also from Sahih al-Muslim, in which it is said that a person, one of the Sahaba, one of the followers of the Holy Prophet Muhammad wasalam, who was blind by birth, And medical science and even common sense can say that anybody who is blind by, by birth, his blindness cannot be cured. Who was blind by birth, he one day came to the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam and said, Sir, I know that I am blind by birth and I know that as a Muslim I should remain contented with whatever God has made me. But I don't know why this Desire has been there in me that I should come and speak to you that if you may pray for me then God will give me eyesight. The Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam asked him to perform the ablution and to read two rakahs of nafl prayer and ask him the dua to pray during prostration. And in their dua, the dua is, <coughs> O Lord, I ask thee through the wasila of thy beloved Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, who is the Prophet of mercy, Nabi ur Rahman. And in the prostration, again, the other words are, O Prophet, I ask thee to intercede for me. And this man, when he raised his head from the prostration, his eyes were as good as of any other person. Why did the Prophet والسلام, teach this to him? Which means that the Holy Prophet والسلام, has been given that status. And because this world is a world based on law and not on haphazard activity, God has made this law that He has fixed a proper channel and the proper channel is the Prophet Muhammad wasalam. If anyone wants to go to God, he must come through proper channel. This is the law He has fixed. Not because He is in need of it, but because this universe and all his creatures are in need of it. To bring 
this argument that when god is almighty and when he hears all prayers and when he sees everything when he knows everything what need is there no need for god but need for us and this is proved by the quran this is proved by the authentic hadith 